Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I've not been active on here for a very long time, but I'm here today. I'm actually in China, which is really exciting because I've never been to China before. Uh, and, and we're gonna be here for one whole month. We've just been in Shanghai for a few days and now we're currently in Huangshan, uh, which translates to the Yellow Mountains. So you're gonna see a lot of beautiful scenery. We're really excited to go and see it. We're heading out tomorrow morning uh, to head up on the cape up the cable car uh, to the top of the mountain so we're gonna i'll talk more about that later but for now where we're staying is here at the oyo hotel um and we've got lots of incredible nature scenery around us um and this is our first day here and uh like i said before we were in shanghai for three days you can take a train here from Shanghai railway station. Uh, I would advise getting there an hour early because you have to go through a whole procedure like you would in an airport. You have to go through uh, baggage check, security. Uh, the airports, um, the train stations are quite big as well, so it takes a little while to um, get through to your terminal. All right, so we've just been dropped off at the bus station to go to the Yellow Mountains. Um, there's two options for bus routes you can take. One of them is to go to the Yuping cable car, which is the one that we're taking, and the other one is to go to the uh, back entrance. That so sounds that's a bit bad. Wrong. <laughs> there's another one. We can't think of the name of it. Um, but there's two options you can take, and it's to go to different routes on the cable car up the mountain. And the ticket for the bus cost 19 yen <clears throat> per person. All right, so we made it to the ticket office. The bus ride was around 11, 12 minutes long to get to the cable car entrance. Uh, you can get the tickets from the ticket office here or you can book them online. And uh, just in the distance there, you can see probably just about the cable cars going all the way up to the top. That's what we're going to be taking now. Uh, the views already are mind blowing. As you can see from down here, we've got all the peaks just up there. That's where we're going to be going. And uh, actually, we're staying the night up there as well, which is going to be awesome. So we're going to be able to get a nice sunrise tomorrow morning. So epic. So guys, these are the conditions we want. <laughs> a sea of clouds, we want to try and get the sea of clouds. So hopefully we see it while we're up here. Today it's a very clear sunny day, which is great as well. Um, but we're actually hoping for clouds. So yeah, there's the cable car going back down. Uh, the views do not look real. Like it looks just unbelievable. It's one of them times where we've done like so much research looking at it online. But now when you see it in person, it just doesn't feel real. It's just like, we're actually here. It's crazy. So unique as well, the formations. I'd hate to count how many steps there are actually here. That'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, a lot of steps. Oh, this is kind of cool though. A little uh, archway. Okay, different directions. Bright summit. Okay, so we're going to Payon Hotel. I have no idea where it is, but We'll find it somehow. Guys, we just walked up lots of steps and we were presented with this view. And I don't know if this camera does it justice or not, but it's friggin' epic. 
It's so cool. A bit cloudy at the moment, but like, still looks cool. Can you see that cable car down there as well? Is that the other one? Can you see that? Yeah. Oh. Wow, okay. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but like just there, we've got another cable car, so we're thinking that that's the second one from a different angle. Oh, when we arrived, it was quite warm up here, and all of a sudden, it's just got really windy and really cold, so I think it's gonna be time to put the jacket back on soon. All right, we've just made it to our first kind of stop, our first landmark. There's a tree called the Welcome, Welcome Pine. <coughs> Uh, which is just kind of down that way. Um, but first, we've got another amazing view, all the layers of the mountains. There's like some more steps going down here, which looks pretty cool. And you can actually see a cable car again down there. I think that's the one that we came up when we got here. Um, so we're kind of just above where we were before. What's cool as well is that here, they've got all these lockets. Um, I guess like couples that have put them here um, as they've looked over this view. It's kind of cool. Ah, all right, so we've just stopped for a tea uh, in a hotel, and uh, this hotel is called Yuping Hotel. Uh, we still have another three hours walking before we get to our hotel, so quite a way to go, but um, plenty of sun to get there, and hopefully we'll be there for sunset, which will be nice as well. Um, the views from here are really great as well, as you can see over there. Lots of mountains in the distance, and uh, yeah, here's our tea. Sun is slowly but surely going down, and and we've got another really cool perspective. We're just trying to find a restroom to use the toilet. Um, there's not many; they're kind of few and far between. So, if you see one, make use of it. <laughs> Them layers are insane. Honestly, the light just keeps getting better and better with the silhouettes and the layers just over there and all these really cool rock formations. And now that the sun is slowly going down, the sun sets at 6.15. Um, and for those of you that are watching later, it's currently March. Uh, the time now is 4.15, so we've still got two hours until the sun sets. Also, if there's any photographers watching, um, you can't fly drones here, which is why you'll see no drone content here. Uh, just so you guys know But look at that that is impressive Okay, so we've got about an hour and a half left until the sun sets and we are slowly going up now, gaining altitude and the views are just getting better and better and of course it's hard to resist uh, stopping to take photos so yeah it's happening quite frequently but it's so worth it and now we're at somewhere called the Turtle Cave uh, just a sign there for it and then the view which is just insane well it's like a drone carrying a package what that's crazy i don't know if this picks it up or not but there is a literal drone carrying a package of some kind through the mountains all right well we've got a pretty cool viewpoint from the top of here more layers we've kind of made it most of the way to the top i think um there's sort of a view over here of looking looks like hotels uh b&b's and things so we're getting closer to our stay for the night so here, at the top uh, of this mountain, it looks like we've made it to Jurassic Park. It's literally so unlike anything ever before. I just expect like a T-Rex to start walking through here. It's crazy. Beyond anything I imagined to see 
uh, especially while being in China, it's just mind-blowing every single corner of this place. Uh, so this is definitely a must visit if you're visiting China. So Apple's got this translate feature where you can translate Chinese or any language from English just by pointing the camera at the text. So I've just tried pointing it on this text on the wall and it translates to the car is big. Now, I'm not sure that that's the right translation. Uh, maybe it's something similar. Often it takes a few attempts to look at it. Maybe it's talking about a cable car or something. Um, I'm not sure, but if anyone can translate that, let me know. <laughs> this is like giving me Avatar vibes and you'll see why now. made it to our next kind of landmark. There's another hotel here um, called, just trying to find the name of it. Ah, Bayan Hotel, there we go, uh, which is just down here. And then there's this really cool little, um, I don't know what you call these, like a pagoda, I think, or something like that. I'll probably be corrected, but um, yeah, really cool. And now we're just gonna keep walking to our hotel, but I don't know how long is left. I'm actually too sure. So yeah, we're gonna check now Nina in her rainbow jacket. Okay, also there's a few restaurants and things here. Got a mixed chicken place just behind me. Um, it looks like somewhere that sells burritos and burgers here and maybe another sort of chicken burger place. So yeah, a few places here to get some food. Yeah. <laughs> We've got about half an hour left and a heck of a lot of stairs to climb. Uh, yeah, just be warned, there is a lot of steps involved. And uh, yeah, if you've booked a hotel up here, potentially a lot of walking, <laughs> but it's all good fun and it's gonna be worth it. The sun is going a lot more golden now. Yet another viewpoint, which I think is even more epic than the previous ones. So again, I'm just gonna let the views speak for themselves because yeah, just unbelievable as the sun's going down now. This isn't the best angle, but the sun is going down and it's like a perfect orange circle. And it looks epic just through the trees there, with the silhouettes and everything. It's uh, really nice. Uh, and it's got super cold all of a sudden. So yeah, we're at the top highest point now. And we're gonna make our way down to the hotel. We're almost there, so yeah. But the sunset looks really cool. The sun's just gone down and the temperature has completely dropped. Um, but we have found our hotel. Oh, yes. Yeah, we found our hotel. Oh. Just found a sign for it, which is great. <laughs> so we're almost there. But as soon as the sun went down, it got super cold. We're freezing. Hoods are up, coats are on. So yeah, it's going to be good to get in the warm very soon. But it dropped really quickly. We are very quickly approaching the hotel now, but again, an another viewpoint. This is probably the last bit of daylight here, but this just proves how beautiful this place is. It just, it's, uh, I can't, I, I don't have words for it. It really is just insane. I look ridiculous right now, but besides that, everything else has been amazing. You still need to walk over and you can get to the Paiyun Hotel. Ah, no, Paiyun, Paiyun. Per Pi, uh, Paiyun. Yeah. Pai yeah. Pai oh, it's here. This one. Oh. <laughs> this one. And this one is Paiyun Hotel. Oh, okay. Paiyun Hotel. Sure, sure. Pai and the Bai. Yeah. Pai and the Bai, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> okay, that was close. We almost thought we were in the wrong place, but this is our hotel. We're here after like seven or eight hours, I think, of walking. Yeah, so there's a bit of confusion. The one we're at is called Payun with a P, and there's another one called Bayun, which sounds very similar with a B. So when we're speaking to the locals, we have to be very precise, <laughs> otherwise we'll get said the wrong way. So I'll show you all the room when we go in. Um, but yeah, 
seven or eight hours of walking today and we finally made it. <laughs> Thanks. Meow. Yeah. Number 309. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so Seriously. much. Oh. <laughs> These jackets. Oh wow. So keep warm. And nice TV. And uh, yeah, <laughs> jackets, slippers, bathroom. Oh, we've got like touch screen control. Corridor. Oh, okay. Light belt. <laughs> Toilet. Okay, toilet light, fan, okay. And now it's time to get food and then sleep. <laughs> Ready for sunrise tomorrow. Well, we've just done our laundry while we're here because uh, they provide free laundry service with this hotel, so that's a bonus. Um, and now we're gonna go down to the restaurant and hopefully get some nice food. Uh, yeah, we've got some like mixed meat with peppers and like vegetables and then uh, braised pork with some rice as well and then we've got some little dessert things here as well all right it's day two we just woke up and we're starting our morning doing a little walk from the hotel it's I think around 200 meters away I think it said the cable car is from the hotel which is just over there and uh, there's a peak where you can have like a nice view not too far from here called Dangchia uh, Peak I think so we're just walking there now and uh, it's currently 6 15 in the morning so this is around the, this is around the time that the sun rises in March we're hoping to get some good conditions with some low clouds and hopefully a nice sunrise so yeah start in the morning with a lot of exercise, there's actually a lot of steps. <laughs> We've almost made it to the top and apparently the view is really nice. So, wow. Okay, that is pretty impressive. We've got some nice shots on the camera of the sunrise. Uh, a little bit cloudy um, this morning above us. We were hoping for some cloud below, uh, but it didn't happen just yet, but it could happen a bit later on today. So we've got our fingers crossed still that we'll get the, the sea of clouds kind of view. Um, but yeah, it's still really nice and definitely worth getting up for. It was a lot of steps to get up here. Um, but for this view, I think it's definitely worth the trip up. So we just um, got our tickets for the cable car, uh, Taiping cable car, which is, I think it's the longest cable car in Asia, um, which is really cool. Um, so we've just gone to the ticket office here. Regular price is 80 yen, which I'll leave the conversion for on the screen. Um, it takes us to a place called Lion Peak, which is another really nice viewpoint here in Huangshan. So something exciting to see later, but now we're gonna go and get some breakfast before we take the car. Also, if you do stay at the same hotel we stayed at, the Payan Hotel, um, the signs for it are actually different. They're called Cloud Fun, so we think they may have had a rebranding. So just in case you can't find the signpost for it, that's because it's called Cloud Fun. We made it back to our hotel. Um, there is a buffet here for breakfast. It's included with our room. Um, so we've got some options here for different things. There's like cakes and pastries and um, yeah, all different kinds of things. I'm not sure what they are because they're all of course in mandarin so um but yeah there's like a lot of options here it's just like a help yourself kind of buffet and uh yeah i'm gonna get some bits and sit down and eat before going on the cable car okay so we've got our food here some selection of different things cabbage with bacon cabbage with bacon um this is like this is yeah not sure what this is like peas with some kind of meat is it like a meat or a tofu yeah and then this is like pow and then potato smarties can't go wrong with potato smarties and yeah just a selection of like 
different things. They're like some kind of sausages. And Nina's got like egg and spring rolls, I think. Yeah. Uh, so we will see how it all is. Oh, actually, Nina's got a cupcake as well. So here's Nina's tutorial on how to eat egg with chopsticks. <laughs> She's a pro. It's not a it's just, it's very solid. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Mm. Oh. No, I'll drop it. <laughs> and how to drop that. it as well. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just drop this on the floor. I'm not very good either. Um, I'm gonna, I'm getting better, slowly. Alright, here we go. Let's eat this. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it onto the cable car, we just had breakfast. And uh, this cable car is quite big as well actually, it fits quite a few people. And now it's an eight minute ride to the bottom. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool to see some sights on the way. Got the view here. So it turns out that this car does take us down. Um, we weren't sure whether it was kind of like level or up or whatever, but yeah, so it goes down lower. But the views on the way have been crazy. Um, you can kind of see there we've come from all the way at the top, and we've still got quite a way left to go down, I think. Whoa. <laughs> it moves quite fast as well, actually. So, let's get a shoe table. Okay. Way out. We made it to the bottom. So, that was a pretty cool ride, and now we're going to make our way to Lion Peak. We uh, made a bit of a mistake. Um, the cable car we got, we thought was going to take us to the other peak but it doesn't it takes you to the bottom of the mountain um so don't do that unless you want to go home um so we're now going back up and when we get to the top we've got to walk to lion peak so it's going to take a little while to get there <laughs> so guys just to show you how many people are in this cable car you can see behind me hundreds of people here and on the way down it was quiet on the way back up it's super busy there's so many people here it's crazy. We've made it to this viewpoint, we're not quite there yet, I don't think. But some pretty cool views from this point. So, a different perspective of the mountains. It's Wednesday, and I think every Wednesday for a while now it's free entry, so everyone is up here uh, today, <laughs> being Wednesday. Just up here where it's really busy, there's a viewpoint where it's called the monkey looking over the sea, um, which is like a rock that looks like a monkey which i will show you on screen now got a video with my camera uh, but it's really busy up there and quite rocky um, so it's quite an uneven surface but um yeah it's a pretty cool view really nice scenery as always that brings me to the end of the vlog here in Hongshan. it's been really fun exploring the yellow mountains and now it's come towards the end of the second day um of exploring here and we're both very tired because it's involved a lot of walking, a lot of steps, and yeah, it's definitely put us to the test. <laughs> but it's been so good, there's so much to see up here. We'll definitely sp spend longer here next time to see everything. So if you're coming here, I'd recommend booking a couple of days in the mountains in different hotels if you can. Um, but otherwise, I just wanna thank everyone for watching. Uh, and as always, stay tuned for new videos coming soon. <laughs>